Hi, I'm Ariana and this is a Sterling Stream. Although it is the new year, it's important to take a look back at 2017. So today we're going to look at the top events that happened at SHS first semester. This was an outstanding year for multiple sports and the records they have broken can prove that. To begin, for football, they broke the record for points scored in the season having 523. And they also made it to the Class 5A semifinal playoffs for the first time ever. In volleyball, their total wins in a row was 35 and Josie Borum's career assists was 1,171. Lexi Rodriguez also had 555 season digs and 29 match digs. Jake Gebhardt was second at state and had many record-breaking runs. Homecoming was also a big part of first semester with the activities and dress days. Monday starting off with class color day, Tuesday being yearbook dedication and nerd day with a wrestling match between teachers. Wednesday was hippie day and numbers ball. Thursday was grease day, Friday was spirit day, followed with the homecoming assembly. The fall play was entitled Peter and the Star Catcher. It was a story of how Peter Pan became the iconic character he is known as today. It was full of hilarious moments that were sure to have the audience laughing till their stomachs hurt. After recapping a great first semester, let's pass it on to Mitchell with 148 feet. Thanks for the recap. Now let's learn a little more about student of the month, Carrie, and 148 feet. And... Alright, so Carrie, what is your favorite color? Blue. What is your favorite food? Raspberries. Do you have a favorite beverage? Uh, milk. Alright. What kind of car do you drive? 2007 Jeep. Is that a hand-me-down car? Is it a family car? What kind of car is it? It's a family car. Alright. Do you have any siblings? I got one brother. His name's Corey. So, how old's your brother? He's 14. So he's a freshman? No, he's actually still in middle school. And great. What sport are you going to do in the spring? Uh, I'm going to play soccer. What's your favorite class in high school? Mm, definitely anatomy. Are you excited for graduation? 100%. Same. Oh, thanks, Gary, for talking to us. Now let's see how our students' New Year's resolutions are panning out. Ma'am, look at my grade. Wow, that's really bad. Yeah, I know. Are you going to retake it? No. But I thought that was part of your resolution. It was, but my new New Year's resolution is just to help out the environment. To ring in the new year, many people set goals to accomplish within the year. Today we're going to look at our classmates' New Year's resolutions and see if they've kept up with them so far. What was your New Year's resolution? Uh, my New Year's resolution this year was to stay on top of all my schoolwork. Are you successful? So far, yeah. Uh, what was your New Year's resolution? Uh, to give up pop. Have you been successful so far? Uh, yes. What is your New Year's resolution this year? It was to dress nicer for school and do my makeup and my hair. And have you been successful? Nope. Why not? <laughs> it's hard waking up early in the morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What was your New Year's resolution? Uh, one of my New Year's resolutions was to stop procrastinating on my homework. Uh, were you successful so far? Yes, very. What was your New Year's resolution this year? My New Year's resolution was to get better grades. Have you been successful so far? No. Why not? Because I, I work every day to get that money. What was your New Year's resolution? To study more. Have you been successful so far? No. Why not? I like sleep more than I like studying. As you can see, many people have already accomplished their 2018 New Year's resolution, and this year is going to be a good year for them. But for others of us, we have not achieved our goal, and 2019 is sure to be our year. Uh, you know what? Maybe I will retake this test. Now off to Micah for Athlete Swap. Thanks, Amber. In this segment of Athlete Swap, we'll be taking Ethan Lavelle's basketball skills and Brooklyn Freeze cheerleading skills, swapping them out to see how well they do in each other's sports. I'm here with senior Ethan Lavelle and Brooklyn Freeze, Ethan of the basketball team, Brooklyn of cheerleading. How do you think you'll do uh, well in cheerleading? I think I'm going to kill it. I really do. How do you think you'll do in basketball? It'll be interesting. Let's put this to the test. We're ready. To go. Say G. G. G oh. <laughs> to go. Say G. 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 O. Defense. That's right. Let's steal the ball and win tonight.
As you can see, Brooklyn and Ethan were awful at each other's sports and should just stick to what they do best. Now let's send it over to Quinn with Imaginary Obstacles. Thank you, Nate. Now on to SHS's rendition of a popular YouTube trend, Imaginary Obstacles. <laughs> Guys, there's a box right here. Yeah. <laughs> See that? Just right, yeah. careful that. Hopefully my sugar card doesn't plummet too much. Thank you for watching. Now on to Kenzie with Finish That Lyric. Thanks, Quentin. Now we all know someone who's been through a hard breakup. Let's see how well our SHS students know their breakup songs. I got my rock. <laughs> Even though you mean the most to me. Are never ever ever getting back together. I Now that you've seen how well our SHS students know their breakup songs, on to Gannon with what's coming up in 2018. Thanks, Maddie. The 2017 and 2018 school year is coming to an end for us and the upperclassmen. For the upperclassmen, it's a special time of year, but for us, it's just another year. Here's what to look forward to in 2018. What are you most looking forward to this semester? Um, I'm looking forward to playing soccer for the last year ever and graduating and like just making as many friends as I can before I leave. What are you most looking forward to this semester? Um, I'm most looking forward to graduating because then I can move on with the rest of my life. How do you feel about graduating? Um, I'm excited and nervous to graduate. And, but mostly excited to get out of high school. What are you most looking forward to this semester? Just getting all of my classes out of the way. How do you feel about graduating? I'm excited to kind of just start my life and get out of high school. As you can tell, a majority of the seniors are looking forward to graduation. Tweet us at Sterling underscore stream and tell us what you're looking forward to in 2018. For the Sterling stream, I'm Raquel Penaflor. Thanks for watching.